Hi, I'm Susan Finley from Transmarter. Pelvic instability is a term that's used to describe a syndrome in which the hip flexors are short and tight and the muscles that oppose them, the glutes and the abdominals are all inhibited or weak. The hip flexors attach from the lumbar spine into the femur, so when those muscles overpower the others, you set yourself up mechanically for a host of issues, including, but not exclusively, knee pain from what is called uh, patellar femoral syndrome, used to be called chondromalacia, um, taut hamstrings, sciatica, back pain, leg length discrepancy, IT band syndrome, a host of foot issues including bunions, plantar fasciitis, fallen arches, splayed feet, and even shoulder joint impingement. So you want to know if whether or not your hip flexors are tight. You do the Thomas test, which is how we start all of our clients' workouts so that we know for sure that their pelvis is neutral. So to do that, come down, grab one leg, hold it to your chest really tight. Don't let it get away. Roll back, get your back really set, really flat on the table, and drop this leg. If it hangs like that, you've tested positive for hip flexor tightness because that leg should drop all the way to the floor. If you're still not quite sure whether you might have a little tightness on one side or the other, another way to check it is to bring your arms back up overhead, lie back on, the, on a table or the bed, have somebody check and see whether your wrist creases match up because if one is shorter than the other one, chances are the hip flexors are tighter on that side than on the other side. Sometimes they're both tight, sometimes it's more so on the other, and usually we see more tightness on the right side. We're going to be talking in the future about what to do about this hip flexor tightness, so follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and we'll teach you how to train smarter.